welcome back to the channel Exploders. Today I'm excited to unveil my latest creation and that's the Essentials Face Protection. Let's talk about this product. When you first take a look at it, it doesn't seem like a whole lot. But there's a whole lot of planning and execution that went into this. Here it is in its actual practical use case. As you can see, it works with either a full helmet setup or something minimal like this, where it's just goggles essentially, and everything else in between. Now what is this? Well, as the name suggests, it's the essential face protection. Meaning it protects the essential parts of your face. Mouth, nose, cheeks. Things that are typically exposed to an incoming BB when peeking around the corner. It's not meant to give you the ultimate level of protection, but it's meant to protect the essential things that are irreplaceable. Teeth, lips, and things that hurt the most. The way we do this is through a very slim design that attaches directly to your goggles, which means no extra straps, no extra weight, no extra fiddling when you're trying to get on the field putting all your protection on. Simply throw on your goggles as you normally would and your eyes are obviously protected as well as your nose, your mouth and your cheeks. Let me get the attachment out of the way so you see how little effort there is involved with adding this to your kit. So all you have to do is take the mask obviously and it will come with six dumbbells that's actually three sets of two uh, and they come with different length. There's long, medium and short. Now depending on what goggle you use Personally, I would recommend the ESS profile line. Not only was that the goggle we designed the whole thing around, it also has really great accessories like you can see this pivot system here and turbo fan options, lots of different ways to wear it, uh, lots of colors, lots of lenses. So if you're looking for a goggle to pair with this mask, the ESS profiles is my recommendation and I'll have links for everything you need in the description. So to attach them together, all you do is take one of these dumbbells I would suggest starting with the medium that seems to work best for all of them. And then you simply slip it through the loop on the mask. It's a buttonhole style system, uh, real easy to do. If you've ever buttoned the shirt, you know how to do it. So you do that on both sides. Uh, there's a recess part for the dumbbell to sit in. After that, you take your goggle, something like the ESS profiles here or the Revision Desert Locusts. Underneath they have venting. Now there's also a a foam over it to keep dust out. I personally like to remove the foam, it gives me better ventilation, but if you need to keep the foam, no issue. Uh, cut or even rip a slit in the back that will allow you to insert the dumbbell into. So the way this attaches to the goggle is the same way the dumbbell attaches to the mask. You slide it through the opening on the bottom of the goggle and when you do that on both sides, it sits on there extremely well, but at the same time it takes seconds to remove it and you could lift it if you ever need to get a drinking tube underneath or simply get to your face. Real easy to attach, real easy to detach. As you can see, not a whole lot of effort to put it on. So now that you know how to attach the mask, let me tell you why you would want to attach the mask to your goggles. Now, first of all, it's extremely lightweight, just a couple of ounces. Secondly, it's durable, made out of this rubber material. As you can see, it's really flexible. Uh, sometimes it doesn't come across well on camera, but this thing is flexible, but not where you don't want it to be flexible. In the center you have a plastic insert over the mouth area that attaches to the rubber portion. Now the rubber on the front that coats the plastic insert acts as an energy absorber. This keeps the BBs from shattering when they hit you. Um, if you ever played with a metal mask, you know sometimes you end up with chunks of BBs in your mouth. And it also keeps the mask lasting longer and it's less likely to get any permanent damage. So we've tested this, this could take a lot of damage from a 400 FPS gun with 0.2 shooting 0.32 gram BBs pretty much point blank. As you can see they bounce off whole so they don't shatter and the mask holds up nothing gets through. Now why would you want to have a mask that's so small? Why not have something that covers your whole face? Well if you ever played it with a full face mask and you try to aim down sights it could be quite cumbersome. Not only is it stiff so it doesn't bend, it could also damage the finish of your weapon. Where this is rubber, it's soft, it will not damage what you're leaning on. Additionally, it's flexible, so when you lean down to aim down sights, it'll blend, bend out of the way. It'll pretty much become your second skin whenever needed. So you can aim down sights and use the gun just like it was intended to. You don't need giant risers. You could use optics as they were designed and the stocks the way they were designed. So you get to experience the replicas in a much more realistic way as well. But when you 
pull off the gun there's plenty of room here for your mouth so you're not touching the mask when you're talking there's room for your nose the big openings on the front provide amazing ventilation air in and out the nose air is directed downwards away from your face through this large vent that is pretty much enclosed from the outside uh, but lets a lot of air out so everything is going either away or down from you which means it's pushing hot air away from your goggles which of course reduces fogging which for me was a big issue because I'm a I'm terrible with goggles everything I put on it fogs with this zero fogging I used to put anti-fog on my goggles I don't anymore I don't need it this vents it out now as I mentioned it's extremely light and the way it attaches to the mask it doesn't drag the goggle down additionally since it's attached directly to the goggle it's always indexed in the same place so you don't get that gapping happening between the nose and the goggles like you do when you have a separate mask and goggle they tend to slide apart as you talk move lean these always stay together this mask will work with other types of goggles as well it has to be a large size goggle and if this turns out to be a popular product we might develop one for the slim type goggles like the m-frames or the crossbows but for now this is designed for the larger style goggles that are sit a little offset from your face so pretty much anything that has a venting system underneath and even if it doesn't it could be made to fit this mask with a little bit of creativity so i think you are starting to understand why i'm so excited about this not only it works with different types of head setups it does everything i needed to do low profile aim down sights lightweight breathability durability and of course i think it looks pretty cool as well that was a big part of it easy to use never lose it never forget to add it to your kit because it's always there go ahead if you want to read the whole story check out brainexplodermerch.com i have a little bit more of a detailed description of how we got to this point but this gives you a good gist of it you know what you could do with it you know what it could withstand and uh, hopefully i'll see this on some other kits out there so check out brainexplodermerch.com and I'll see you in the next one.